M L B Yes, nice. Today I want to talk about Messianic, not Majesty, Messianic Lord Blaster. So we had our first VR reveal of VEB06, which is the light and dark thingy thingy, Link Joker, Kagero, Nova Grappler, Royal Booster. And we had our first VR revealed, even though the two others in Azure Dragon and, you know, The Great were both already shown in the anime and The Great more than once, but we got to see Messianic already. And Messianic is interesting. My initial thoughts, um, in terms of the standard frame of things, were pretty meh, and I'll explain why. But I've been kind of thinking about it again, and actually one of my friends, uh, well, pretty pretty popular uh, Malaysian demon Hongwai, actually has a video of his like initial testing with Messianic Lord Blaster, but without the Blaster Sword, which is the final Blaster card that we should be getting, so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. But Messianic Lord Blaster is pretty interesting so i'll quickly go over you know kind of the pros and cons i think in the let's like begin with premium right so in premium i think it's a just a good card like it's a vanilla because you don't really you're not really gonna build a full blaster deck just like for the sake of you know using this but i mean there's still some cards you could play you know like blaster friend barkle etc um that like would work well with him, but the main point of playing this card in premium is that it's a 13k body with a force and blaster name, aka aka oops. It's like it's just a good card to run because you have a 13k body and you generate a force, and it works with your like Gansalot Peace Saver and the like the Alfred Stride and things like that, which require a blaster heart if I'm not mistaken. But so that's pretty good, you know, to have that. So I think in premium that's kind of like the main force of it, so it's like good for blaster decks in that sense, but you know, that's more or less its only kind of function in my opinion, you won't really use the other skills much, but then let's talk about in standard, because in standard is where its main application comes in, and my initial kind of like gripes and like my unhappiness with the card was for two reasons. One is that you, it requires a different, like five different blasters on the field. If it was just five blasters, or like six blasters rather, like if it was six blasters that'd be fine, of like even if it's the same name, that's a bit easier to achieve. Or if it's like six blasters of different names with your field and drop zone combined, like some of the other blaster units, that also that would also be fine. But then it's like these six different ones, when there's not even like that many different ones. It's like what, eight, nine in my opinion? I think there's eight or nine, I can't remember how many exactly, but like there's not that many different ones and in standard where like you don't have that much like drawing or searching it's not you're not that likely to run into all of them and like sure he has that like call your drive check kind of ability but like even then it's not that great and sure then people are saying but oh well, you can just like stall and not give your opponent any damage and just like swing under them and stuff like that but i mean like in standard it's a bit hard to like swing under like you know how in premium you run like 6k grade ones 8k grade twos and stuff like that just like swing under the opponents like 9k 10k vanguard and like yeah okay there's there's that in premium but in standard it doesn't really exist because like what is your 13k vanguard swinging against it's definitely not like an exculpate isn't going to be sitting there what are you swing swinging under against like nouvelle so that's kind of the thing that like you can't really avoid giving them damage once they start completely just like not calling anything so in that sense, you can't just like zero to six them, and that's that's kind of difficult in my opinion. But then the other, my other kind of like gripe with it is that its superior call skill is to an open rearguard circle. Like, why? I feel like it would be a much better card if it was just superior call to any rearguard circle, and that'd be so much greater because that way you're able to just you know get an extra attack out, and maybe it's a really good blaster that has like some on-call skill that's not on-call for hand from hand. Like we don't know what blaster sword does at the time of me recording this. That's why I'm saying this. Um, but if it's out, God, I need to get this video out soon then, if, so that it's not out while I'm still editing this. But yeah, like I think, well, yeah, it's like it'd be nice if it wasn't open rearguard circle. So that's what kind of circumvents it in my opinion, because you're gambling on even having the whole skill active in the first place. I think that's kind of a problem, but. I'm sure, like, it's interesting that, like, you can build a whole deck to be Blaster outside of the triggers. You know, that's that's cool, that's fine, that's that's pretty cool, but, again, 
I think it's a bit of a meh build. Like, I think the, the whole support for blasters, like, it's nice that each of the blasters is themed like, well, with, for the character's cards. So, like, you know, the Naoki-themed blaster has, like, binding, you know, and I'm sure Blaster Sword is going to be Ibuki-themed, so it might, like, have something to do with deleting, which I kind of doubt, but it might have something with, like, face-down binding, or maybe even locking, you know? So I think that's pretty cool in that sense. Apart from that, I think it's, like, the, the blaster support cards are really good, but Messianic is meh. It's like okay at best in my opinion. Like outside of that like niche playstyle of like oh don't give your opponent any damage and they're just like zero to six them if they don't even heal. But I think like outside of that it's like it's gonna be a deck that's carried by its support, so like by the grade twos, grade ones, and then it's gonna kind of like have this cheesy win con that can kind of do something. And I'm sure it's gonna top some locals, like there's gonna be some new players that have never played against the deck and they're just gonna like, you know, randomly call rear guards they're gonna keep swinging at those rear guards and then it's just gonna like you know it's gonna end in that kind of cheesy play style otherwise there's maybe there's gonna be some play styles where you kind of try to rush them early and then just go for the mlb and try to just like push them really fast but then like if you don't have the pieces you don't get it off and then it's like it's such a super peace reliant deck in a format where like being peace reliant sucks and like even in premium there's like peace reliant decks like victor and like tabas where like Thalas isn't even considered to be that good in premium right now just because it's so heavily peace reliant in a format where actually getting your pieces is much easier, you know? That's kind of the problem for this for me, where like, you can't have a deck be so super peace reliant without a way to like, push them out easily. Like sure, Blaster Sword might be that answer, maybe Blaster Sword just like, superior calls three blasters and then just kills them at the end of the turn or something, which would be fine. Um, but that would at least get your skills off consistently, so maybe this whole thing will change with Blaster Sword, you know, that would be pretty cool, but I am having pretty big doubts for the time being, just because, like, my Cyanic on its own is a little bit underwhelming. Like, I think the gimmick is cool, and it's fun, and it's, you know, casually, like, gonna be exciting to see, maybe for, like, two, three games, but I think, like, in the long run, I think it's gonna not perform that well, and it's probably gonna get power crept with, like, one set. Like, we have the, min the 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 special set, like Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark decks coming up, and they confirmed a King of Knights Alfred reprint of all things, so I feel like the next support is going to be Alfred themed again instead of being Blaster themed. So um, I think they're going to stop with the whole like Blaster theme after this, and it's going to be kind of a gimmicky deck for people to enjoy, and that's it. So that's kind of my thoughts on Messianic. Like, I, I'm going to say again, I think it's fun, I think it's cool, it's an interesting gimmick, but I think, again, it's not going to be something that's going to be great for a long time. I don't think it's going to like be a competitive deck for ages or something like that. I think it's going to be something that's kind of like played for one or two months until the next Royal Paladin support and I just kind of left behind. And so that's why I think it's like, it's okay. It's cool. I like the gimmick myself. I think it's fun. Like for fun casual games, it's going to be something exciting, something to like get hyped about, you know, getting off. But like, in the long run, I'm not expecting much. Again, this could change with Blaster Sword. Blaster Sword could be some insane game-breaking card that could change the whole thing. Maybe that's why they're holding off on revealing it, so maybe that's gonna change something. But for now, I'm not necessarily, like, super excited about it, so that's why I think it's, like, it's cool, but it's not gonna be the best card of the set. I think it's gonna be, like, Brand, Azur Dragon the Great, and then Messianic. And so that's why I think, like, Brand is probably gonna have... Oh, that's another thing. Because Messianic gains crit and power, I think that they're gonna actually keep Brand's skill to be like the trigger reverse skill because like his initial printing back in the end of G-ish era uh, was that like your opponents, it's like when he attacks or when your opponent attacks, I think it's like during the battle phases, you can count us two and all trigger effects are basically like reversed. So it's like instead of drawing, you, re you discard one or retire one, I can't remember, instead of healing you take one damage. Instead of a crit, I think you, like, you minus one crit or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly how that one works, but, like, that's probably going to be the same in standard. They might change kind of, like, the wording, but I think Messianic being themed after, like, gaining crit goes to show that, like, oh, like, Aichi maybe, like, fails to, he fails to, like, I don't know, like, you know, activate a trigger or something, and then instead he, like, uses Messianic to just, like, gain a bunch of power, just, like, you know, smash Brand in the face kind of thing. So I think that's probably going to be Brand's, they're gonna keep it 
and so it's gonna be interesting to see what it's gonna be like because it's releasing pretty soon actually it's just like next month I think in Japan so it's gonna be pretty, something to be hyped about but I'm more hyped obviously to see a Zord Dragon as well as the Great. So that's it for me today hope you guys like this little messianic discussion I've been just doing these kind of like card discussion videos instead of you know the usual content but it's kind of fun because I think like these cards are cool and they're like interesting to talk about and that's why I want to have a discussion like these are my opinions but if you want to defend like messianic and say that no he's like the best card in the game i mean sure go ahead we're gonna have a discussion in the comments if you want to but that's just kind of my opinions that's my stance maybe there'll be some of you that agree with it some of you that don't you know even on twitter when i said my opinion some people were very defensive against it and i'm like i i'm fine with that like that's fine like if somebody you know if if i'm also going to be seeing like oh the next die kaiser card will be insane and some people go like eh, it's not that good like i'll also you know have a discussion and be like oh well i think it's great because of this but da, da, da. i mean i don't need to explain that to you guys but yeah that's gonna be it for me today hope you guys enjoyed the video check out the stuff in the description as always but that's gonna be it for me today so i'll see you guys next time bye bye